What is up, everybody? Very, very happy to be back today. I hope everyone's doing very well. Guys, I'm excited about this video. I, I have an overview. I have a first impressions, we'll call it, of the Handy Gym, guys. Now, I'm not going to be going over the Handy Gym compared to the Tonal yet. I'm going to be doing that in an upcoming video. Where I want to talk about right now is my experience with Handy Gym. Do I feel it's worth buying? Do I feel it's worth the cost? Do I feel it is a worthy backup to a tonal, for example? Let's say, for example, you have a tonal, but you want a backup in case for some reason the power goes out, in case for some reason tonal breaks, something breaks. What do you do then? Well, you need a backup, right? I've, I've recommended to you guys for a while to maybe have um, dumbbells, adjustable dumbbell sets, or whatever the case is, whatever you have you can even do body weight exercises, guys, but if you're like me, you don't necessarily like body weight exercises. I like having machines. That's just the way I am. I get motivated by machines. I feel like they're a solid, safe way to work out, and that's what I like. I don't particularly like, um, you know, uh, resistance bands, as you guys know. If you watch the channel, you guys know that I'm not a huge fan. Uh, they have their place, but I don't feel like they're going to give you the best workout depending on well, at least compared to what, uh, when you compare to my goals, I don't think they're going to give you the best uh, overall performance, right? So let me give you a breakdown of the Handy Gym, and uh, let's talk about this. I'm very excited. All right, guys, so here we have the Handy Gym. As I've mentioned to you guys in a couple of previous videos, I've even demonstrated how to use it. This is flywheel technology, guys, okay? Now, the weight that you're getting is not actual weight. You're getting inertia. You're getting uh, a force. This is like a yo-yo, for example. You're going to throw this thing out. You're going to create a ton of energy from an, an, a concentric standpoint. And it's going to come back to you with the same amount of energy with an eccentric. Well, as I have demonstrated to you guys in some of the previous videos when I'm showing you how to use this thing, when you use this, there's a way to harness an eccentric mode. Now... That is something that when I saw the Handy Gym, before I ever touched it, before I ever used it, I was very much interested in it because it has a concentric and eccentric phase. Now, Handy Gym, if you look at their website, if you look at their Instagram, you're going to see that Handy Gym is utilized in a very interesting way. It's utilized by a lot of uh, people who are into um, sports medicine, rehabilitation, athletes, maybe like soccer players or football players. This stuff is, is used, this technology is used by people like that because this allows you the very unique experience to be able to freestyle your workout. So what am, I, what am I trying to get at? This thing is so versatile. You can pretty much do any movement on it that you want as long as you do it in a safe way. And it pretty much forces you into a safe range of motion, a safe way of moving because it moves with your body, all right? When you hook this thing up, you can use it for basic bodybuilding movements like I have shown you I've been doing, right? Because my goals are to build muscle. Or you can hook this up in many different ways. It's very versatile. It can give you a very um, great overall body, full body workout in some very unique positions because of the nature of this thing. It, it's on a cord. So you can move it any which way you want, up, down, left, right, and you're going to get a crazy workout, all right? Now, my goal, my goal is, as you guys know, I've had the same goal since the beginning of the channel, hasn't changed, to build as much muscle mass as possible and to lose as much weight, physical body fat as possible at the same time, okay? Um, so is a handy gym good for somebody like me? I absolutely feel it is. Now, the machine is not touted as something that's going to build the most muscle. It's not. It's not shown by the company in that light. Now, do I feel like it has the capability of building a ton of muscle? I do. And the reason why is because if you learn how to create and harness the eccentric phase from this machine, you are going to be forced into a place where your muscles are like using eccentric mode on tonal. That's something you can't do with regular free weights. That's something you can't do with regular uh, resistance bands. That's something that you really can't do in many different 
with many different respects, with many different pieces of equipment. You really can't do it. Tonal has the most valuable feature, in my opinion, on this machine, on Tonal, is the eccentric mode. It's going to force your muscles to grow, rip them down because of the eccentric portion of the movement. This has that capability. So I do believe, I feel in the testing that I've done with this machine, I do believe that this machine is absolutely capable of doing the same exact thing as tonal to a very large degree. And the amount of concentric energy that you put into this machine is going to directly correlate with the amount of eccentric energy that you get back. So if you learn how to use this machine in the proper way, in the correct way, in the way that's going to um, allow you to build solid muscle mass, if you learn that, if you're able to harness that, you're going to see, guys, some tremendous growth with this machine. So my initial, my initial thoughts on this machine are that it is absolutely fantastic. I believe it has a ton to offer. And I believe that this is a solid choice for a mobile full body gym. Okay. Now I'm going to be having other videos, uh, that I come out with regarding this machine. I'm going to teach you guys how to use it. I'm going to teach you guys what's good about it. I'm going to get in depth with different parts of this machine because it's too much to cover in one video. As you guys might be aware, I had to sit down with one of the coaches, um, from handy gym. And I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't get too much out of that sit down, but the, the only reason why was simply because I already have experimented with it on my own. I learned about it. I had time to spend with this machine. I used the knowledge that I already had. I used the knowledge that, um, that I gained while using this machine in order to figure out how to use it. And, um, I must say that if you were to sit down with one of the coaches, uh, when you first purchase this machine, you get an hour, uh, an hour long, um, free session with one of the coaches who can acquaint you with the machine better. You're going to get a lot out of it. Trust me. Handy Jim has put a lot into this machine, guys. The creator of this machine actually created it for his own purposes. He has Parkinson's and he created this machine in order to help him to use his muscles, stay mobile and be able to allow his muscles to stay strong during the journey that he's been through, guys. So this is an incredible machine that has an incredible story behind it. And I believe in this company. I believe in this machine. As you guys know, Handy Jim took a nice bite out of me um, earlier on in the uh, testing phases. I don't blame Handy Jim for that, guys. That's just part of the learning curve. But that's what videos like this are about. So I can tell you what to expect, tell you where to improve, teach you how to use it, and teach you what's good about it, what's bad about it. Uh, we're going to be coming out with, a, like I said, multiple videos in the future, letting you guys know who this gym is for, how you can use it for various types of training, because as we know, there's different types of training. My type of training specifically is hypertrophy, bodybuilding, okay? I do believe that this is going to be very valuable in not only sustaining strength, sustaining muscle mass, but also building muscle mass because of the way that I am going to show you guys how to use it. You can't just hop on this thing and be like, yeah, I'm going to build muscle with this thing. No. That's not the way it works. There's a learning curve with this machine, guys, that I've spoken to you about, and we're going to we're going to harness that learning curve together. Now, again, I'm going to come out with another video comparing Handy Gym to Tonal, all right? Um, I look forward to that very much. I'm going to talk about the similarities, I'm going to talk about the differences. We're going to get in depth with this, guys. I look forward to it very much because I do believe that this gym, and yes, I am calling it a gym because I do believe it, it has the, it, it is deserving of the word gym. After the testing that I've done, this is deserving of the word gym, full body gym. This thing is a quality machine that is going to pack on some quality muscle, pack on some quality strength. It's going to do a lot for you guys if this is something that you're interested in. Again, we're going to come out with another video soon talking about who it's good for, get into more specific details, but I wanted to give you my initial breakdown. Is this thing worthy? Yes, if it's what you're looking for, for the type of training that you do. It is definitely worthy of your time. It's definitely worthy of the money that it costs. It is expensive, but so is Tonal. You're getting a compact gym, a portable compact gym 
This thing is good for many different types of people. It's also good. It's also not good for other types of people, um, depending on your situation. But again, we'll get into that, guys. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. I look forward to getting back to you guys with some more videos about this machine soon. Um, I also look forward to speaking to you about some uh, new tonal updates that I have on my end. And uh, I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Be safe. Catch you guys in the next video.